biography of the drummer of the band who will rock you, Roger Taylor. Roger Taylor is the drummer of the British group Queen, composed of himself, Freddie Mercury, John Deacon and Brian May. Roger was born in 1949 in England. As a child, he liked to play percussions on his mother's cookware. At the age of 12, he receives his first drum elements and then buys cymbals a little later. He also did opera singing during his schooling and plays other instruments as well like keyboard, bass and guitar. He will play his first band with his cousins, the cousin Jacks, first on guitars and finally at the drums. Brilliant student, Roger left the countryside to study biology in London to become a dentist. Between two lessons at the Imperial College, he sees an ad from a group looking for a drummer with the influences of Ginger Baker or Mitch Mitchell. Roger applies and arrives at the audition of band Smile. Brian May, the guitarist, is quickly impressed because Roger tunes his drums like a pro. He studies by day and turns into a rock drummer at night. In 1969, Roger met Freddie Bulsara, a fan of the band Smile. The two become close friends and will even acquire a market stand together at Kensington Market to make some money by selling second-hand clothes. Shortly after, singer Tim Staffel leaves the group. A new band is born with two lions, a dragon, a crab and small fairies. With Roger Taylor on drums and backing vocals, John Deacon on the bass, Freddy on the vocals and to complete the legendary lineup, Brian May at the guitar. Roger shapes the sound of Queen. He got his inspiration with the sound of Mitch Mitchell of the Jimi Hendrix Experience and Keith Moon of the Woo. Roger holds the drumsticks and delivers a powerful clean sound that rocks. He sings the backing vocals, especially the higher notes like in Bohemian Rhapsody, and composes and writes at least one title per album. The best known are Radio Gaga, a Kind of Magic, Invisible Man from the album The Miracle, Innuendo, The Locomotive Breakthrough, and will be on the lead vocals for Draws, and for his favorite sportcast song as well, I'm in love with my car. He wanted it so bad to be on the B-side of Night at the Opera that he locked himself in a closet until Freddy agreed. Talking about solo, Roger Taylor never liked the concept very much for fear of boring the public. He will grow a beard in 1969 so that he will no longer be confused with a woman and as a hard worker, he will be the leader of the group The Cross and still playing for Queen will have even have the time to release three albums, Shove It, Mad, Bad and Dangerous, and Blue Rock. Madly in love with Dominic, his first wife, because she had a pneumonia in 1987, Roger immediately decided to quit smoking, and will be the one who will ask for a huge theatrical concert stage for Queen to give a flamboyant show. Voila, it's over for the little story of Roger Taylor, who is still the drummer of Queen, and that we sometimes see in the company of Brian May to revive the emblematic songs of the most royal British group.